Welcome, Michelle here. I have a patriotic cross wreath for you today. In today's crafting adventure, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to make a beautiful patriotic ribbon cross wreath. Let me show you how to make it. For today's project, you'll need one of the cross wreath forms that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. Some pipe cleaners cut in half and some patriotic ribbon. I've been wanting to do this craft for a while and I finally found this beautiful ribbon at craftoutlet.com. This is red and white ticking and then this really pretty kind of burlap, dark blue and burlap stars. This is two and a half inches, this is one and a half inches. You wanna cut your ribbon into strips of eight inches. I have some of my ribbon cut and I'm ready to start making my bundles. Now we're going to be making um, just the dark blue bundles and then just the red and white bundles. And it's very easy to make. I'm not going to dovetail my ends or anything. I'm going to leave them blunt. This will give me the best coverage. And I'm going to be placing three ribbon in each bundle. So I just kind of find the center, do a little scrunch. I like to do a crisscross and then one in the middle. This just helps once I get it onto uh, the wreath form. It's already kind of spread out. It makes it easier for me to arrange my ribbon. And I have a pipe cleaner cut in half. Wrap that around. I always like to pull everything down. It allows me to get a nice tight grip. I can pinch and twist. And then before I attach this, I like to style out my ribbon a little bit. I just make sure everything's facing up. Kind of lift that ribbon up and bend the ends outward. And that's what your bundle should look like. You want to do the same thing with the red and white. Now because this ribbon is a little smaller in width, you'll need to add one or two extra bundles in each section when using the red and white. For your convenience, in the description box below is a detailed list of all the tools and materials used in today's project. This list will not only tell you how much you're going to need, it'll also let you know where I purchased the materials. I have some bundles made. I'm going to start to attach them to my wreath form. Now we're going to be attaching everything to the two bars in the center, both across and up and down and it'll take about five of the larger ribbon to cover one arm and we'll be doing the top section and this arm with the blue and the rest this arm and all the way down will be done with the red and white you'll need five in each section maybe one more in the center and then on the red ribbon because it's smaller you're going to need about six bundles here and I'm assuming for each section you'll need about six bundles. This one may be less because it's smaller. I'll let you know at the end exactly how many of the red and white bundles you're going to need. So to get these attached, just place them on either side of the two bars in the middle. Pull nice and snug and give a twist or two. Then I pull my pipe cleaners together. I like to tuck them forward. Once all the ribbon gets on there, you're not going to be able to see it. And then just continue to add your bundles until you get your section full. Enjoying today's content and interested in seeing more? 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button. When the notification bell pops up, if you hit that too, YouTube will let you know each time I upload new content and I do add new content several times a week to my channel. Hey, I have my blue section done and I'm now working on my red and white section. I'm really happy with the results so far. It did take five bundles on this arm and five bundles on the top. Here on the back you can see I've been attaching everything to the two bars in the center. And I'm happy with the amount I have on this side and it did take six. You will have one bundle that will kind of slide down out on the end. That's fine. You want that. Kind of pull those ribbons out. It will help extend on either side. You can do it at the top and the bottom. Just make sure to either trim or tuck those pipe cleaners. You don't want anything sharp on the back of your wreath. I have all my bundles in and I'm very happy with the result. It took a total of 10 of the dark blue bundles and it took 23 of the red and white. Now I think that looks absolutely adorable just the way it is. I think this one is perfect. Dollar Tree came out with two different designs. These are little bottle caps and they have that rustic feel, which this wreath gives me that rustic feel with the burlap stars and the red and white ticking. So I think this one suits it rather nicely. I'm gonna place it right here in the center. It does come on a jute cord, so it already has two holes here in the top. And to get this attached, I'm just going to be using some floral wire. And here you go, my sign is attached. I think that's the perfect final addition for this wreath. I love that rustic and vintage feel that the sign has. I think it goes perfectly with the ribbon. Such a pretty and easy patriotic wreath. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed today's patriotic cross wreath tutorial. I had a lot of fun putting this together and I love how it came out. Absolutely beautiful with that nice vintage feel. If you're looking for more patriotic inspiration, you can click into my playlist right here. Have a great day. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.